Hi, my name is Bogdan. I'm the owner of the Engine Sharp. In this video, I'll show you how to create a basic rotator using our dynamic rotator.net module. So, I will start by adding a new module to the page. And then you will be presented with a um, default uh, rotator, which basically says that this is not uh, configured yet. And that you can do that in the manage screen. And it will also show a mini tutorial what you need to go where you need to click. So I will not waste any time. I will go into manage screen and then it's uh, the manage slides. There are many settings in the general screen, but I will not go through this for now. I will just start creating new slides. So a slide is basically like a scene. First I name it. I say, let's say this is the welcome screen and then I add uh, elements to the scene. So I add uh, first I will add an image and I will exist from existing portal image. And I will choose maybe this one. And I will also give it a identifier so I can when I save it I can see in the list uh, what this image is about. Okay, and then you can set up uh, various effects. So you can set maybe a transparency, you can set a transition, how, uh, a transition effect, how it appears on the scene. I will just leave it with the default settings, but also I will add some text to the scene. And I will also give it a, a label, welcome. And then I write here, uh, welcome to my site. And here I can also put my tokens. So I can say, welcome to my site, user first name. This, this also supports HTML, so I can uh, apply some basic formatting from the toolbar or I can go into raw HTML mode and apply uh, any HTML from here. Okay, and now I have to set it to appear at some coordinates. I will set it to appear maybe at uh, 40 and... Um, maybe 140 and also I will set it maybe with higher opacity of the background and I will show you what that's all about so you see the opacity of the background is uh, where the text uh, the text stays on the box on the box and that's the opacity of the box why because when you when you hover uh, text when you have text over images often they will not show so you have to put a background and then give them a contrast a contrasting color so i'll just give it white and now you see there's a white background so my text in black reads fine even if the picture below is gray okay. so now i'll go and create a second slide And I will uh, what I will call it what's next, and then I will add uh, again an image from the server. And I will name this bike one, and then I will add another image. And maybe I'll call it bike two. And I will set this to appear on the right side, maybe 300 pixels. I will make it uh, a little lower. And then I will change the transition to appear with slide, the slide from bottom. And this one I will set to appear with the slide from top. And I will also add the text and I will say buy one of my bikes and maybe I will want to have this also around around the center of the screen and I will set it maybe I will set it to a white color and I will set it on a black background okay so this is first slide and then when I go to the, sli the second slide I will see this, so maybe I'll move. Uh, I'll move um, second bike more to the right, so maybe to 500 pixels, and then the text. 
uh, the text I will just uh, maybe make bigger so I will go in, in HTML I will create a paragraph and I will set a font size Okay, and then I will also um, move it a little to the right, so maybe 300, and I will set it uh, to background, I will increase the opacity, okay, so now I save, and let's see the output, okay, so now uh, you see one of the bikes appear from below, and one from the top okay so it's basically a slide is basically a scene where you create various objects and define how they appear and how they disappear from the scene and then under rotator setting there are a few settings that uh, affect the dimension of the rotator so i can make it uh, even bigger or even or smaller I can use uh, or I can use a standard format so now you see I have a bigger rotator and then uh, you can do something about the background and how the slides uh, progress if they auto start and and progress one after another or you have to click the buttons and then uh, either to show the buttons maybe you just want to progress the slides without the user having to click the buttons and then you can configure the color of the buttons and then you can show this top title which appears um, which appears at the top so when i click a button you see uh, at the top appears what next and when i hover this it appears welcome so this is the slide of the title that i put into the settings and uh, finally there's a easy import and export function you can export your uh, settings as an XML and then take this and import it to, to other rotators or on other sites or on the same sites uh, to quickly start from something you can also use this for backup purposes and maybe a few others uh, also in the slide section there are a lot of more options you can add multiple text and multiple images to a slide and you can define the effects how they are, uh, how how they look on the scene, and also apply transitions, how they appear and how they disappear from the scene. That's about all. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for your time.